Hello students, good afternoon. So today I am going to explain about superposition theorem. So after watching this video, I am sure, I am 110% sure you will have no doubt on superposition theorem. So let's start. Starting with the definition, in any linear bilateral network having more than one sources, the response in any element is equal to the sum of all responses caused by individual sources acting alone. This is the definition part. Let us understand the concept by taking a small example. Let we have a circuit having two source and three resistance. Okay, there are two source like V1 and V2 and here resistance are R1, R2 and R3. Right, so as per the definition, what it says, let us, we will find out current through R3 ohm resistor. So, as per the definition, what we will do, we will activate the first source, at the same time we deactivate the second source and find the current, let this current will be I dash. And similarly, we activate second source and deactivate first source and find out another current, let it be I double dash. Then, while activating both the sources, what is the net current? That will be I dash plus I double dash. That is your definition. So, it polarity change that depends on the polarity of voltage source. Similarly, if we have voltage source and current source, what we will do? So, let we have a circuit having a current source and voltage source. Voltage source is V and current source is I, right? And resistance is R1, R2, R3. Let us we'll find out current through R1. What we'll do? We'll activate the first source and deactivate the second source. Find the current. Let this current is I dash. And second step me kya hai? We'll activate the second source and deactivate the first source and find out the current. Let it be I double dash. That direction depends on the polarity, let it be I double dash. Then what will be total current? It will be I dash minus I double dash or I dash plus I double dash. That depends on the polarity of that current source. Agar polarity upward hoga, then it will be I dash minus I double dash. If polarity will be downward, it will be I dash plus I double dash. Is it clear? So now the point is, what is the meaning of activation and deactivation? You might have think, Sarah has told, activate first one, deactivate second one, find the current, activate second one, deactivate first one, find the current, then you add the current, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, what is the meaning of activation and deactivation? Let we have a voltage source. I need to activate the source. Matlab, I have to keep the source as it is in the circuit. Let the potential difference is 10 volt. I have to maintain that voltage. I have to keep the source as it is. If I want to deactivate the source, that means I have to make the potential difference as 0. So how do I do? I have to sort it. If I sort this path, then the potential difference between these two points will be 0. That is the meaning of deactivation. If someone will say, activate the voltage source absolutely you have to keep the source as it is in the circuit if deactivation ka matlab kya hai you have to make the potential difference zero by short circuiting the path is it clear okay similarly if we have current source let this is a current source let the magnitude is 5 ampere activation ka matlab kya hai we have to keep the source as it is in the circuit. That means the source is able to deliver 5 ampere current like previous one, 10 voltage. That means we have to keep the source as it is in the circuit. Deactivation ka matlab kya hai? I have to make the current as 0. How? If I open this terminal, if I open the path, what is the current? Current will be 0. That is the meaning of deactivation. And here it is activation. I hope it is clear. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. We'll, what we'll do now? We'll solve a circuit. 
will take example and I am taking a small example like it is 10 volt. Uh, okay, I will erase the every part. Okay, let us start uh, from an example. Let we have a circuit like this. Let this one is 20 volt and it is 10 volt. Resistance is 2, 3 and 4. We have to find out current through 4 ohm resistor. Our objective is to find out current through 4 ohm resistor. You can take 2 ohm, 3 ohm, no problem. So first case what? Case 1. We will activate which one? We will activate 20 volt and deactivate 10 volt. Then what will be your circuit? Mene kya bola tha? Activation ka matlab kya? You have to keep the circuit as it is in the circuit. You have to keep the source as it is in the circuit. So here 20 volt ho gaya. Thik hai? Then resistance is 2. Here it is 4. And you have to deactivate the second source. Deactivation matlab sort ho gaya. So here resistance 3 ohm. We need to find out this current. Let this current is IDAS. That means by activating 20 volt, I am getting current as IDAS. How could I get IDAS? So, first of all, you have to find the equivalent resistance. The 3 ohm and 4 ohm both are in parallel. Actually, don't say both are in series. Try to understand. The point, the potential at this point will be same as this potential. It is a equipotential point. So, 4 ohm is parallel with 3 ohm. So, what is the answer? 4 into 3 by 4 plus 3. It will be 12 by 7. Then, here to resistance ho gaya. What is the total resistance? 12 by 7 is in series with 2. So, what is the equivalent resistance? 2 plus 12 upon 7. So, it will be 14 plus 12. That is coming 26 upon 7. Here it is resistance. Total resistance ho gaya. Agar total resistance ho gaya, then what, what is total current? What is the total current flowing from the source? Voltage upon resistance. Voltage kit hai? 20. What is the resistance? 26 upon 7. So it will be 140 upon 26. That is your current. But we have to find out I dash. So current is I which is coming from the source here. It is a parallel circuit. 3 and 4 both are in parallel. You can apply current division formula. What is current division formula? Supply current into opposite resistance by sum of two resistance. So total current into opposite resistance is 3 by sum of two resistance. So here 140 upon 26 into 3 by 7. So it will be 20. So answer is 60 upon 26. That is your answer. So, I dash is coming 60 upon 26. Okay. We are getting current as I dash 60 upon 26 by activating 20 volt. Similarly, case number 2. If we activate 10 volt and deactivate 20 volt. So, activate karna hai matlab, you have to keep the source as it is in the circuit and resistance are like your 3, 4, 2 and you deactivate the circuit matlab, you have to sort, sort it or make the potential difference as 0. Then 2 ohm and 4 ohm both are in parallel. Don't get confused because this point is same as this point. So, 2 ohm parallel with 4 ohm. So, answer is 2 into 4 by 2 plus 4. So, 8 upon 6. So, that entire resistance 8 upon 6 is in series with 3. So, total resistance will be 8 upon 6 plus 3. That is coming 26 upon 6. 8, 6, 3, 18. 18 plus 8, 26 upon 6. Then what is your total current? Total voltage by total resistance. Total voltage is 10. Total resistance is 26 upon 6. So your answer will be 60 upon 26. That is your current, supply current. 
मतलब यहां तक जो करंट है सप्लाई करंट हियर द करंट विल बी गेटिंग डिवाइड आवर क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड आउट दिस करंट दैट दिस करंट इज आई डबल डैश सो हियर व्हाट इज आई डबल डैश यू कैन अप्लाई करंट डिवीजन फार्मूला बिकॉज़ बोथ आर पैरेलल सप्लाई करंट इनटू ऑपोजिट रेजिस्टेंस बाय सम ऑफ टू रेजिस्टेंस सप्लाई करंट इसका ऑपोजिट क्या है 2 2 अपॉन 2 प्लस 3 सॉरी 2 प्लस 4 so your answer will be 60 upon 26 into 2 upon 6 so it will be i think 20 upon 26 ye ho gaya aapke i double dash so finally what you will get you are getting by activating the first source the current is i dash which is 60 upon 26 but, but by activating the second source what is the current i double dash That is your twenty upon twenty six. What is the net response? What is the net current? The net current. देखो दोनों का direction downward है. So what is the net current? I dash plus I double dash, which is sixty upon twenty six plus twenty upon twenty six. That is coming eighty upon twenty six ampere. That is your final answer. देखो एक question भी change हो सकता है. क्वेश्चन अगर इसका पोलारिटी रिवर्स हो जाएगा मान लो कि नेगेटिव है पॉजिटिव है सो ये करंट का डायरेक्शन चेंज हो जाएगा बस उतना ही डिफरेंस है और कुछ नहीं है सो ये आंसर क्या हो जाएगा आई डैस माइनस आई डबल डैस सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज रिगार्डिंग दोलरिटी इनिशियली इट वॉज प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस सो आंसर वॉज आई डस प्लस आई डबल डैस बट नाउ आई है चेंज दिस वन इट इज माइनस एंड प्लस so total current will be i dash minus of i double dash because direction dekho change ho jayega got it it is clear so that is all about the example of superposition theorem by taking two voltage source now we will solve another problem by taking one voltage source and one current source let us take a voltage source of 10 volt and there are three resistance and a current source of 5 ampere and resistance are let it be 2 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm or it is let it be 1 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm right so what is our step step number 1 kya hai we'll activate the first volt 10 volt and deactivate deactivate 5 ampere source एक्टिवेशन का मतलब क्या है यू हैव टू कीप सोर्स एज इट इज इन सर्किट डीएक्टिवेशन का मतलब क्या है यू हैव टू ओपन द टर्मिनल टू मेक द करंट एस जीरो सो नाउ देर आर रेजिस्टेंस यू कैन कनेक्ट हियर वन फोर एंड थ्री सिंस इट इज ओपन सर्किट ध्यान से देखो अगर ये ओपन सर्किट है इसका कुछ वैल्यू नहीं है देर इज नो मीनिंग सो दैट मीन्स बाई एक्टिवेटिंग दिस सोर्स The current I dash will be voltage upon resistance. What is the total resistance? One plus four because it has no meaning. Both are in series. So voltage ten by current. How much is it? One plus four is five. So ten by five is two ampere. That means by activating ten volt, we are getting current as two ampere. Is it clear? Similarly, step number two, we activate five ampere source and deactivate ten volt. Activate five ampere source means you have to keep the source as it is in the circuit. That means it is able to deliver five ampere current. Deactivation means what? I am just saying you have to make the potential difference as zero. So this potential difference is zero. So again, draw the circuit. You activate the source, current source as five ampere. The resistance is three, one, and four. So here the current let it be I double dash. Current through four ohm by activating five ampere source let it be I double dash. So here no need to find out equivalent resistance. Directly you can find out I double dash by applying current division formula. So what is current division formula? Supply current. यहां तक देखो सप्लाई करंट आ रहा है 5 एम्पियर बोथ आर इन पैरेलल 
ये बोथ आर इन पर्ल इसको ध्यान रखना बोथ आर इन पर्ल वन एंड फोर बोथ आर इन पर्ल बिकॉज ये जो लाइन है ये इको पोटेंशियल लाइन देर इज नो रेजिस्टेंस बोथ आर इन पर्ल मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट पूछते हैं सर ये पार्ल कैसे अरे ये पोटेंशियल ये पोटेंशियल से मैं यू कैन कनेक्ट हुई है ओके एनी हाउ सो आई डबल डेस क्या है फॉर्मूला क्या है सप्लाई करेंट इनटू अपोजिट रेजिस्टेंस व्हाट इज द अपोजिट रेजिस्टेंस वन अपॉन वन प्लस फोर सो व्हाट इज आई है फाइव डायरेक्टली फाइव एम्पियर इज गिवेन फाइव इंटू वन बाई फाइव सो आंसर इज वन एम्पियर That means by activating second source, we are getting current as I double dash, which is one ampere. Now what we'll do if we activate both the sources, ten volt and five ampere at a time, what is the total response? I dash plus I double dash. That is two ampere plus one ampere, which is three ampere. That is your answer. देखो ये question भी change हो सकता है. कैसे change हो सकता है? देखो. अगर इसका पोलरिटी मान लो कि डाउनवर्ड होगा ठीक है सो ये माइनस हो जाएगा ये बाकी सब सेम है ये माइनस हो जाएगा ये टू माइनस वन इज वन एम पी ठीक है सो पोलरिटी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट डिपेंड्स ऑन द पोलरिटी ऑफ वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड पोलरिटी ऑफ करंट सोर्स आई होप इट इज क्लियर आई एम श्योर इट इज क्लियर so in in exam mostly you will be getting two sources or maybe three source agar hoga teen cases hoga agar teen source hoga teen cases hoga but procedure is same we activate one source at the same time we we have to deactivate other source and find the current that we are getting one response similarly we will activate second source at the same time we have to deactivate first and third source find the current let it be i double dash and third case will be we will activate the third source and deactivate first two sources and find the current that will be i triple dash then depending on the polarity of the source we have to algebraically add the three current three response or three current ye jo sources current source ho sakta hai voltage source ho sakta hai question mein do current source ek voltage source de sakte hai aur do voltage source ek current source aur ek voltage ek current source ठीक है, आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट वट आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट सुपरपोशन थियोरम डेफिनेशन एग्जाम्पल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्टिवेशन डीएक्टिवेशन एंड कुछ न्यूमर कल भी किया आई होप इट विल हेल्प यू इन एग्जाम एंड आई एम श्योर यू अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट सो विद दिस लेक्चर आई एम एंडिंग दिस सेशन सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू